What's up YouTube? Uh, today I just want to do a really quick video talking about Nintendo's Wii U and why I think it's in a hole that it just can't dig itself out of. Uh, not at, not right now at least. Um, here, let me get my controller out over here. Alright, so the Wii U, we've got... Let me show you the games that I've got for you. I got this system on November 20th. It came out November 18th. I've got New Super Mario Bros. U, I've got Batman Arkham City, and I've got um, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Now, what I want to ask you guys is why the hell would I get Black Ops 2 when I already own Black Ops 2 on these two very, um, you know, solid systems, the PS3 and the Xbox 360? Well, the um, answer is quite simple. I wanted to see the graphical limitations of the Wii U. I wanted to see if it had higher quality um, resolution compared to the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. And I can safely say that the Wii U is either slightly better or on par with these systems. But that's not what I'm really here to talk about. The system itself is robust in just about every way since the uh, April update to the system. But the problem is, is Nintendo keeps launching hardware without software. For instance, I thought they would have I thought they would have learned their lesson from the 3DS. They launched the 3DS with nothing. They had a game called Steel Diver, which was crap. They had a Rayman uh, remake, which was also... I mean, that was like the best launch title they had, was the Rayman remake. But that was also crap. They had a bunch of really crappy titles that nobody wanted to play. Nobody wanted to spend 40 bucks on a game that they weren't going to play. They had nothing. Zip. Nada. No games at all for the 3DS. Not until um, Zelda 3D came out, the Ocarina of Time 3D remake, and that was a 10-year-old game, guys. 10 years old. They they drove their sales on the 3DS based on a 10-year-old game. They didn't even bother to make a new Zelda title, so they make a 10-year-old game, remake it for 3D, uh, upscale the textures a bit, and that was their main seller for the system. The system did actually sell um, a lot better after that game was released. But, um, it, it's just that Nintendo didn't learn their lesson, guys. They launched the Wii U with literally nothing yet again. They launched it with a Mario title, but it was a side-scroller, which we already had on the Wii. whoop de doo it was in HD, and it was a fun game while it lasted, but literally, I beat that game in three hours, and then I was done with it. So, where does that leave the Wii U now? That was its best launch title, other than Black Ops 2, which nobody wanted to buy Black Ops 2 for the Wii U because they already owned it on the 360 and the PS3. The thing is, is Nintendo keeps launching hardware without the support of software. They told us they had third-party support, which I have yet to see one single game released other than the Walking Dead survival game within the last three months. We... You're starving us without any so without any software to play on this damn system. We paid $350 for the system, and there's no software for it. The, the next games down the line for the Wii U don't come out until August. Pikmin and the Zelda um, HD remake of Wind Waker. Those come out in August. That means, let, let's see what month it is. It's May 5th, January, February, March, April, May, June, July... August, we got at least four months of more starvation before we even see a decent title come out on the Wii U. You guys are going to go underwater. Nobody wants to buy a Nintendo system without software to play on it, man. So um, I'm not saying this to bash Nintendo because obviously I bought their $300 um, system because I wanted to play with this new innovative touch screen and I wanted to play a HD um, Mario but I just don't even have the words for it I don't understand why Nintendo keeps launching hardware that has great potential and they just don't launch it with good software to, to drive the sales they get stuck in this hole they got stuck in this hole with the 3DS and they're stuck in this hole with the Wii U now and now they gotta dig themselves out with a new Zelda game a new Metroid 
a new Smash Brothers. I mean, it's going to take at least four or five really, really good AAA titles from Nintendo to dig themselves out of this hole and get the sales going. But so far, that's not happening, not at least for another four months. And uh, I'm not saying this to bash Nintendo, like I said before, because I do buy their systems and I buy their games, so obviously I support them. But they, uh, this is mainly just a message. Hopefully, somebody at Nintendo will run by this and go, hey, maybe we should listen to our fans for once and actually release um, some titles when we launch something from now on. Instead of launching something, hoping people will buy it, and then scratch our heads when they don't buy it and wonder why they didn't buy it. I'm going to tell you right now, guys. I'm going to tell you right now, Nintendo. Nobody's buying it because there's no software for it, and nobody wants to buy a piece of hardware. Nobody wants to buy a piece of hardware, if you can see it over there, if there's nothing to play on it. So get your stuff together, Nintendo. It's big boy time. You got Microsoft coming up here in about 20 days to now to announce their system. You get Sony announcing a PS4 with specs way beyond the Wii U, and you don't even have any games. So pick it up, guys. Get some good titles out there. I want you guys to succeed. I really do. But this is some tough love coming right here from a Nintendo fan. I want to see you guys succeed. So get some titles out there. And more people will be obliged to buy your system and buy your games. But that's all I have to say for today. Uh, if you agree with me, go down in the comment section and like this video. I like to hear from you guys. So until then, uh, peace out, guys.